Good afternoon, everybody. Body Kaki here. This is uh, Commander Shepard. It's me. Um, we have a crappy situation here. My squad is killing stuff for me. I really appreciate it. Couldn't done. Couldn't have done that without them. Because I suck balls at aiming. I uh, I've upgraded some stuff. Just to be sure I'm more capable. In the last episode we were looking for this Asari, the daughter of the Matriarch. I haven't found her uh, yet and uh, I think I'm on the right track. It's a good thing I'm uh, regenerating slowly but steady. We're at the mining camp. According to our minimap, Something terrible is about to happen. Just a bad feeling. It's one of the Geth Froggies. Uh oh, and I don't have my Marco with me. Ah! Oh! Oh! Taking a lot of hits here. Okay, be cool. Be cool. You guys protect me. This uh, geth crap needs uh hold on, what else do I have here? This is uh, recharge this old talent so they can be u ooh useful. Has almost recharged. Can I use assault rifles, by the way? Um, not quite what I wanted. Yes, it's ready. Woo! That was awesome. Where is my Asari? I'm here to save you, girl! Thank you for saving content. Usually when a game saves content, it tells you that, Hey, that's not enough. There's more fighting to do. Bad things are coming. See? Your minimap is jammed. Whoa, whoa, easy there, trooper. Wait, I someone <laughs> I think Tally hacked him so we could use him. I need some time for myself. I need to reach in. Looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. What is this? Barrier? Funky. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I changed the uh, Rex's armor. He looks like a huge fat lemon, <laughs> but. Yeah, this armor is way better than his previous one, so I had to change it anyway. I haven't found um, a new armor for myself or Tally yet. You look like a beautiful butterfly, Rex. Must be some way to disable this uh, barrier. 
Elevators. The game is taking its toll on me. It's more eventful that, like, than a girl on her period. I mean, come on! Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Oh, Liara! Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Liara to Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. I'm not scared of uh, no Krogan. I have my, my Krogan of my own. What are you talking about? And he's uh, yellow and cool. Where are they? Wow, the lag spike. Here, not to clear enough enemies. Okay. How about now? What is this? Uh, some kind of puzzle? Okay. Down, left, down. Down. Up. Woo! Yeah! These random puzzles. Excuse me. Coffee break. If there was any coffee to drink, I mean, <laughs> I drank it all. There's nothing left. Damn it. I should make myself a new one. Developers of this game really love the elevators. Or the developers of woman. There's no other excuse. Oh, what do we do here? Is this? Let's go. Let's go where? Ah, there she is. Excuse me for my blindness, good people of uh, YouTube. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Okay, Smurf girl. I like her. She's goofy. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. Of course it's it an elevator. Get us out of here. Come on. I I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. 
We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Eight minutes. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> so, do we do we have a timer for this or? Ah. Talisdora Naraya. I love your name. She didn't notice this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Whoa. Um. Uh. Whoa, 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 fellas, 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 take it easy. Krogan, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he charged at me. Did you guys see that? Glad we found her. <laughs> Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years? She sure looks way younger than that. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. <laughs> a century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How do you know this? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. 
I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. I thought the Hanar made the mass relays, or am I wrong? They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I like you. I want you on my crew. Join us! I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. <sighs> I still don't like the Three Stooges, but hey, they're part of the story, and they keep track of what the Spectre's doing. Uh -huh. So, um, before we end this episode, what I want to do is, wait, if I'm correct, I want to... 
I wanna stop doing circles for no reason while I'm thinking, oh, where's the medical bay? Yeah. It's downstairs. Across Caden. On the far left. I wanna check on the on the new girl. Where do you have her? Hey Dr. Chakwas. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? But I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Okay. I think that's enough for one episode, everybody. Uh, we'll talk to Liara a bit more next time we uh, play Mass Effect together. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you all next time. Have fun. Play nice games. Talk to you soon, everybody. Bye-bye!